take that a little bit more serious. But we're glad to have you guys back again. Josh, get us started on the five milestones to owning a log home. Well, yeah. So, you know, we deal with it every day. We always like to talk stuff about stuff we deal every day. People come in, they don't know where to begin. They don't know what's going to happen. And, and They just don't know the steps that it takes. And that's what we're here to do is kind of clear up that confusion. So let's take it from ground level. You, des you decide that you want to log home. You call into our office. You'll get placed with a salesman. And then, you know, just kind of give them the, the you know, high-level details. Story the of, story of your what, story. Yeah, give them your story, what you're wanting to do, where you're wanting to build, kind of, you know, if you prefer us to put the house in the dry or if you prefer to build it yourself. You know, those are things that you'll need to decide uh, before you call. Yeah, so I'm going to say number one are your needs, and that's exactly what you uh, said. You're going to grab that call? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> the, the first thing I'm going to say that you're going to need to, to, to come up with are your needs, and that's what Blake talked about. It's uh, what's my family like? What's my family? What are my situation, my family situation, living arrangements? What is that going to be? What, what it is now and what it's going to be, let's say, 10 years down the road. Yeah. Kids, parents, moving in, moving out, right. those types of things. All that kind of stuff is going to affect what you build, where you build, right. and I guess how you build it, if you build it yourself or if we build it for you. Right. So, um, yeah, so needs are first. Second, location. And that location kind of ties to what we just said, what your needs are now and in the future, and that location depends on your land. So... You need to purchase your land first. Well, not before you call here, but before you build, you got to have the property to do it on. Yeah, that, that would be the next step in the progression. Now, like Blake said, you don't necessarily have to have your land before we can start this conversation because some people, um, they, want, they want a house to fit the land and not necessarily land to fit the house. Right, and it works both ways. That's you know, right. Uh, once, you, once you have your property, then we can help you drill down on the, the design process and what kind of features that you want uh, in that house. So. Yeah, so we're gonna call number three your plan. So you figured out what your needs are, you figured out some sort of scenario with the land, Right. And so now we're gonna uh, develop the plan. Uh, so the plan could be how the house looks on the inside, or right. on, the, on the outside, you know, curb appeal, how it fits in with the land. Uh, it's gonna be how it suits your needs, like number one that we talked about. Absolutely, and we've got two excellent draftsmen in house. Here in Texas. Here in Texas, we have one in Georgia and we have one in Utah That's as well. Right. That's Thank right. you. Uh, and they can help you take, you know, people come in here all the time with magazine clippings, photos, Instagram, hows. Sketches on, a, on the back of a piece of paper. Just anything that you have that can convey to us what you're looking for from an exterior look or what you're looking for on the inside. A lot of people come in here all the time and say, well, I want it to look like so-and-so on the outside <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> then make, it, make the floor plan yeah, fit make, on the make inside. The, make it fit, and we can definitely do and that. And that's perfectly okay. Our draftsmen at each of our locations can help you arrive at that plan. So needs, location. Location, plan. At some point in that uh, process, number four, we're going to say is uh, financial impact or okay. finances. Finances. So. Uh -huh. Once you get the plan developed, at that point, then we can send that plan to our estimator and we can get back with you and give you an exact cost on the material package if you want to build it yourself, the log order if you want to build it yourself, or the constructed shell. Depending on your location. Depending on your location. Yeah. If you're out of the Texas office, the constructed shell, we can give you a price on that as well. So, I hate to keep repeating it, but we have to. Needs. Needs. Location. Location. Plan. plan finances. finances. And the fifth one is? Finally to it, construction. So we've gone through all the other steps and we're now able to start the process of construction. Right, um, so depending on your location again, I mean, your foundation needs to be in place of course, or we'll put your foundation in place for you, depending on the distance that you are from here. And then that's when the construction starts. Our crew comes out, we put the structure in the dry, you know. Or you can have a builder, um, if you're doing a material package, you can have a builder take uh, 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 possession of the material package and build from the ground up. Or you can build it yourself. You can build you it know? yourself. A lot of people build it as a family. So sure, sure. That's, of course, the most exciting time is the construction aspect of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And Watching every, logs go up. Absolutely. And everyone's so pumped up once they get their, their materials on site to get going building. So, uh, and, and, and like Sam always said, 
one step leads to another. Yep. You know what I mean? So don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let any of the things overwhelm you. Absolutely if, not. If you don't have any more than just your needs, uh, feel free to holler at us and we can, uh, we can help you. Well, that's what we're way. here for. That's what we get paid to do is to help you take all this information, assimilate it together, form a plan, get the price, get the financing, and get going building. That's right. We made that pretty easy. Yeah, so just to reiterate, let's hit these last five things. So needs, needs location, plan, plan financing, finance, and construction. construction. Yeah, so uh, it can be as simple as that and no need to overcomplicate it. If you need any help along the way, all of us at all the locations are here to help and we'll do anything we can. Absolutely. Glad to have you guys back. Hope everyone had an excellent holiday and yeah. a happy new year. Uh, 2020 is behind us and we're looking forward to an exciting and busy 2021. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next Thursday for Satterwhite Live. Thank you.